The latest Bank of Ghana report shows that treasury bills and bonds dominate income sources of the country's banks. The report revealed that this component of income increased from 42.9% in October 2018 to 44.8% in October 2019. The Bank of Ghana's industry report showed that income from investment made up of bills and securities reached 47.47 billion cities in 2019 as against the 42.84 billion cities recorded in 2018. Of the 47.47 billion cities, treasury bills which mature in a year or less was 16.47 billion cities in October 2019 from the 14.81 billion cities in the same period 2018. According to the central bank's latest report on the banking sector, securities, which refer to stocks or investment in companies, and bonds, which usually mature after 10 years and above, gave banks 30.99 billion cities in 2019, a rise from the 28.02 billion cities in 2018. The second income source for banks, which are loans, declined to 34.5% from 36.1% in 2018. Director of Business Operations at Delex Finance and Leasing Company, Joe Jackson, explained the situation is as a result of the fear and panic that occasioned the financial sector cleanup. At the bottom of the pyramid, with the SMEs, with the micro-businesses and the like, Nobody is lending. It means that those who are holding surpluses are afraid to give the money to you and would, would prefer to buy dollars, would prefer to do anything else but to give the money to you to go and lend to those who have a deficit. Chief Operations Officer of Enterprise Risk Management and a banker, Samuel Nita Kirilberg, ties it in with the risk factor. Indirectly to government will be to finance projects and contractors. That will be indirectly. Every bank will want to make maximum benefit from whatever facility they give. But the point again, like I'm saying, is because a lot of people at the end of the day will not want to pay their loans. Treasury bill is maybe 15%. Why would I go and give it to government for 15%? The only reason why I will go there is that it's more safe. The third largest income source for the banking industry was fees and commissions such as charges on ATM cards, checkbooks and account maintenance fees. These represented 12.3% of total income in October 2019, down from the 12.7% recorded in October 2018. Other income category, referred to as residual, inched up to 8.5% from 8.2% during the same period under review.